Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. According to the contractor, the Samkong underpass will be ready in 22 days. This is Phuket Extra. Sawadikrap and welcome to this Friday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro. I'm JP Mistanza. The Phuket City Mayor is urging residents and tourists to conserve water and use it wisely for the next few weeks until the rains return. Mayor Somjai Suwan Supapana said yesterday that reserves in some areas, especially near Chao Phai East and Bangkok Roads, will likely dry out within the next two weeks. Officials are looking at the possibility of decreasing water pressure and reconnecting other reserves to help with the potential water shortage in the next few weeks, especially with the Thai New Year coming up next month. After years of wrangling, the Klongkopi flyover highway is finally set to open this month. The 700 meter long bridge is expected to ease traffic in the Sakti Dej, Chalfa Road and Vocational College intersection in Phuket Town. The Klongkopi Road will directly connect Sakti Dek Road Soy 7 to Sapan Hin. The contractor has been fined 200,000 baht per day since last September when the project was originally supposed to be finished. The grand opening of the Klongkopi Bridge is set for April 6th. And a Thai man is entering the monk hood for the rest of his life this week in order to redeem the bad karma he says he has ever since he stole a valuable blue diamond from a palace in Saudi Arabia. In 1989, Kriankrai Techamong was working as a gardener at the palace of Saudi King Faisal bin Fahad when one night he snuck into the bedroom and stole 200 pounds of jewelry, collectively worth about 20 million US dollars. Among them was a rare 50 carat blue diamond. The man eventually served five years in prison for the heist, but Saudi officials allege that Thai police returned only some of the gems, which were mostly counterfeit, and that the blue diamond was still missing. Over the years, Saudi diplomats and a Saudi businessman were gunned down or disappeared in Thailand while trying to find the blue diamond, causing tensions between the two countries ever since. In an interview with Channel 7 this week, the man at the center of the whole affair, who originally stole the diamond back in 1989, it says he is entering the monk code and has been given the monk name that translates to he who has diamond knowledge. And we'll be back with more Phuket Extra right after this. Welcome back. Officials are warning everyone in Thailand of the dangers of using your mobile phone while filling up at the petrol station. The warning comes days after a video went viral on social media that showed a motorbike catching fire instantly as a mobile phone rang while the vehicle was being filled up at a petrol station in Chiang Mai on March 14th. An employee put out the blaze with a fire extinguisher and fortunately no one was hurt. Still. The Energy Policy and Planning Office is telling motorists to switch off their phones and to stop smoking while filling up fuel since any device that could trigger a spark will likely ignite the flammable liquid. And finally, the kids from BIS Phuket are celebrating their International Day today. The flags, foods and music from the many nations represented at the school were showcased this morning. The feature of the day is the Parade of Nations where the students dressed up in their national costumes. And then there was the food. Lots of food. And thanks for joining us here on Phuket Extra. Have a great weekend and see you on Monday. Thailand's premier SSI Diamond Dive Center. Visit us in Geelong or on c-bees.com. Seabees Diving. Adventure in good hands.